What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Mr. Legend here with some more Battlefield 3 gameplay. Tried to get some sniping for you. This isn't really sniping because I'm using the SVD, and the SVD is a is a uh, semi-automatic. So it's more like running around with a two-shot assault rifle and a machine gun pistol that's actually semi-automatic. I just have an insane trigger finger. Uh, a buddy of mine actually said something about that in my last video. I do have a pretty fast trigger finger, I gotta say. It's not... I mean, I've seen people with, like, stupid trigger fingers where they fire, like, one shot per minute. That's... No, you gotta be faster than that. If you're gonna, work, if you're gonna walk around with a pistol, especially in Battlefield where you can do work with pistols, you gotta have a fast trigger finger to put rounds into people. I actually, uh... I end up spraying, like, two or three people in a couple seconds. Because, you know, well... And, uh... Yeah. I don't... I've noticed that the spotting feature in this game is kind of wonky. It's not really as, um, it's not really as useful as it was in Bad Company 2. It's a little, it's almost like it's there because it was in the last game, but you don't really use it anymore. And I think that's not good because I love the spotting feature in Bad Company 2. It was, it was just nice. It was, it was good. I enjoyed it. So, I don't know if you guys know this, but there are a lot of problems with the beta right now on even even on PC on console and on PC there are some glitches going around which are game changing in how they work now right there you saw I got a one shot kill with the SVD the SVD is not a one shot kill the reason that I got that is because there's actually a glitch right now where moving targets actually take more damage than targets that sit still which is kind of game breaking I gotta say I don't know I don't know why it's like that, but it's definitely something that's going to have to be changed in the final product. Now, bear in mind, this is a beta. It's not the final product. So, there, there's a lot that they're testing. That's the key word there. This is still a test to see how it runs, mainly how it runs on consoles, as I get a nice three-piece here. See, and again, that was a one-shot. Uh, and there's... there's um. There's a lag with the hit detection, too. Sometimes you'll notice you're running around and you'll just die like that. And that's actually also a glitch. It has to do with the hit marker not registering, so it kind of makes it feel a lot more like Call of Duty because you they're in, in Bad Company 2, you could turn on people. If you were smart, you would get into cover and then you would come out and you would turn on them. But in this game, at least in my experience, I have, I have yet to come into a situation where the first person to start firing gets doesn't get the kill. Uh, not There's not many opportunities to turn on people in this game unless they have really bad accuracy. I mean, of course, it's going to, it's going to, you know, it's going to happen every once in a while. But as far as happening consistently, it's not possible because even even when you do know you're getting shot at, by the time you get to cover, or by the time you even think about getting to cover, you've been shot so many times that you're not going to make it. That's not to say that I haven't, you know, been able to pull it off once or twice. But see, like right there, that was another one-shot kill with the SVD. The SVD is not this powerful. Um, only the bolt-action weapon should be a one-shot kill. Because that's why they're bolt-action. What's the point of using a bolt-action weapon when you can do get the same done with... Uh, like the um, SKS. The SKS, I'm told, is the worst sniper in the game. I haven't actually unlocked it. And there's another glitch right there. You saw my grenade that got stuck in the tree. That's not supposed to happen. It's not like a cool th feature they added to the game. It's actually a glitch with the collision detection of the foliage. It's supposed to go through the foliage, not get stuck in the foliage. So there are a lot of problems that need to be addressed, and that's good. You might think, oh god, that means the final product's going to be shit. No, that's not what it means at all. The final product, the the beta is to weed these things out from the final product. So the more things that go wrong in the beta, the more things that are going to be fixed in the actual game. Like these visual glitches and see another one-shot kill. That's not going to happen in the final product. Uh, if it does, it'll get patched, I promise. So I, I think that's... I said in my last commentary that the uh, snipers were favorable. Now I know why. Because it's ridiculously easy to get kills with the sniper. And it's 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 going to be changed. It's not going to remain like this. Because if it is going to remain like this, then uh, a lot of people are going to be turned off of the game. 
And I just, I can't iterate enough that it is a beta. They are looking for these problems. The fact that the entire community knows about these problems and are stating these problems means that they'll be known and they'll be fixed. There have been hotfixes released for this game, for the beta itself, uh, but they're not... I, I guarantee you the team at DICE is working their ass off to get rid of these glitches for the final product. And I'm told that what they are working with for the final product is actually a build that's a month older than what they put out for the beta. I'm not sure why they put out an older glitchier model for the beta, uh, but, you know, that's what they did. That's their business. Uh, it's none of my business. I don't run the company. It's an interesting thing for them to do, though. Just because you would you would want them to you would want the public to know how far along in the development process you are with a beta, I guess maybe maybe not maybe releasing this older build, they wanted to test these issues on a larger scale because you got to remember when they do closed testing, they're not they can't open it up to the public like they do with the public beta. These betas test the game in every aspect. They look for problems in every way that they can and they they test their not only not only the game mechanics in the in the engine but the server itself so they know how to deal with problems like this so I think honestly the more problems that come up in the beta the better the game's gonna be um, yes something does have to be done about the flashlight I have to make a note about the flashlight the flashlight is just it's too overpowered it is literally overpowered and should be either tweaked or removed from the game entirely because it should be it should be circumstantial at least you shouldn't be able to use a flashlight outside that's that's ridiculous can you shine a flashlight in somebody's face outside and not be two feet away from them no so anyways uh the gameplay is almost over i fucking ran out of people to kill at the last half of the game i couldn't find anyone but that is game and i might be doing a rage let's play i don't know if i'm gonna get the game yet uh, we'll see if I have if I put up a rage video tomorrow, you'll know, but if I don't Chances are I didn't go get the game. It's not exactly what I suspected. Anyway, I am mr. Legend and I'm out